Hey guys, Ralph here, <clears throat> and welcome to True Power Sunday Morning Meditation. Life's good, man. Life's good. This one is one of my favorites, man, and one of my, and actually, one of the easiest ones to, uh, for me to grasp, okay? And it works like this. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. That's what came to me this morning. And that's one of my favorite. That's so uplifting. That makes me want to go work hard and, and you know, reach my goals and all this sort of thing. But um, first of all, before I even get into it, you know, as you know, when you are, stick your toe into the pool of <laughs> interpreting scriptures, whether it be the Bible, which is predominantly what I do, uh, the Bhagavad Gita, which I have gone through, uh, the Quran, I mean, the Torah, whatever, okay? And that's one thing that, that, that uh, meditation just cuts through all those differences. Meditation is, first of all, what you want to make it, but it's just about God, not a specific Christian God or a Baptist God or a, a Jewish God. It's just about God and what you want to have God do in your life. That's the way I see it. Okay? Now, when one is delving into the Bible verses, like I do, it can get a little odd because you don't know when to take things literally. You don't know if this one needs an interpretation. It is a metaphor for something else. Is it a parable on, 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 you know, and you get a whole thing also. You know, this thing has been, it was the original Greek, the first translation, but this has trans been, been translated dozens of times. My daughter compares, compares it to a game of telephone. You know, if you have 10 people in a game and you whisper something in one person's ear and they will whisper it in the next person's ear and something, by the time it gets around to the other person, it's a completely different thing. Okay, now that is min minimalizing all these scriptures. I get it, but there is that element involved. So, again, for me, I can only say what it means for me. It may mean something completely different for you, and if it does, leave it down below and let me know. I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to know about it. All right. So anyway, back to the original thing. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Okay? Now that to me, once again, is very, very cut and dry. But so often you hear the term, well, you're taking it out of context. Well, that is a smaller part of a bigger context. There's no question about it. And it comes under the heading, it started off, that man cannot serve two gods. Man cannot serve God and mammon. Mammon being riches or material. Can't serve both. Okay? Now, my guru, Yogananda, explained it in one of his explanations, interpretations, that God does not say any, in any way, shape, or form, don't go out and get money. Don't go out and get the better things in life. The fact of the matter is, you are a better disciple to God if you are wealthy than you are if you are poverty stricken. Guys, if you don't have a, if you're living on, a, you know, in a, in a tent in San Francisco on the street and pooping on the side of the road, it's very, very hard to be spiritual and think that, that we have a loving God here. But again, you, 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 you live in a mansion, you know, in, you know, New Canaan, Connecticut. Trust me, you give thanks 
See what I'm saying? So nobody, nobody, nobody means, I don't think anybody, well, some of the interpretations are, but I don't see it as you can't go out and make money. The fact of the matter is, making money and getting a new BMW or, or a beach house, whatever the case may be, should not be your focal point. Should not be your focal point, okay? Now here it comes, if you got, haven't gotten it already. Guys, if you seek God first, the rest will come. And that doesn't mean you just sit, sit on a rock and meditate and think all these riches are going to come. No, 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 no. You have to go out and get it. And if you want a beach house, you have to work. I mean, it takes millions of dollars to have an oceanfront beach house, right? And you have to go out and get it. God's not just going to give it to you because you pray a lot. No, you, you can seek those things. You can seek those things, but seek God first. That's why, guys, this morning meditation for me is just so important for me, okay? I told you many times, a lot of times, not a lot, but many times, my evening one gets cut short I get a little frustrated, I'm exhausted, I, you know, I'm falling asleep while I'm trying to meditate, you know, that whole thing. That is not always a given, but the one in the morning, I just did an hour, the one in the morning is a given. Why? Because I'm putting God first. Okay? Before I turn on the computer, before I go for a run, I meditate. And for at least an hour, I seek God first. Okay? Now, I don't have everything that I would like to have. I absolutely don't. I absolutely don't. And what I am doing is I take it as a sign from God that maybe at this point in my life, I shouldn't have it. I should be doing something else. See, now, I know it's not easy to do, to just jump in the deep end and just give yourself to God. And some people stick their toe in and think, okay, and then the next, you go up to your ankle. I get it. I get it. But sooner or later, if you meditate enough, yes. I literally have talks with God during my meditation. All of a sudden, I'll start talking. Yeah, what do I do about this, man? It, it's like God is my business partner. It's a very, very cool thing to do. It's a very, very wonderful way to go through life, as far as I'm concerned, to put God first. And everything else, if it's God's will, will come to you. And I really and truly believe. I have some goals. And I think at some point, they will come to me. They will come to me. And I guarantee you that if I get ABC or XYZ in 10 years, I'll look back and say, oh my God, thank God I didn't get ABC 10 years ago or I wouldn't have done XYZ. I would have been doing something completely, see what I mean? That is the faith, the faith that I have. And that is what that saying means to me. All right? Guys, eat and drink your fruits, vegetables, starches, and meditate. And live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff. True power. Love you all.